what is going on guys good morning today we are putting up some i don't know if you call it shiplap but we are putting up some paneling into our bathroom kaylee wanted something with a little texture so what i've got here is i went ahead and had it ripped down with the table saw and put a uh, chamfer on the edge right here so you see the chamfer right here but um so it's just little strips of wood i cut it down to two and a quarter inches and um it is this is a mdf with a wood veneer on it um so i put the chamfer on it so that when the two pieces go together it'll make the it'll make the v-notch inside there to give it a really good texture um the way it's not just solid wood to kind of defeat the purpose but um it's really lightweight and let me show you what i'm going to be nailing it with um we thought about gluing it but i don't think i'm gonna glue it just because i don't know if we want to keep it on there if we ever want to take it off then i really don't want to tear the wallpaper or veneer on the rv that's there now off so that all we'll have to do is paint over some holes uh in the future but we went to lowe's and we bought a craftsman v20 18 gauge brad gun so it comes with a battery a charger and a gun for 179 dollars so not too bad um so i'm about to cut this it's it's really windy today um yesterday it was 92 here in montana and today it's only going to get up to 55 and then down to 32 and raining tonight so we might even see a some snow flurries i don't know but we'll see but let's get to cutting this wood and then we'll go inside and nail it on the wall okay so um i have really enjoyed staying in the camper i've really enjoyed it as a whole like the whole camper experience okay <laughs> but um I've really wanted to make it ours and as you can see with the um, bathroom it's just very basic um, this is our bathroom and so it's just very basic and I would like to kind of make it a little bit more me so um, today I went on a trip to Lowe's and I bought this peel and stick tile um, and you can just cut it. I really didn't want to do anything too terribly expensive in here. And also um, with a camper, it's kind of difficult because the walls are so thin. I don't know if you can see, please excuse my nails, they're terrible. Um, but I don't know if you can see, like the walls are very thin and they're very, um, they don't have like a lot of backing behind it. There's very few studs. And so doing something like um, putting up cement board all the way across and then doing tile is not, I mean, it can be done. It definitely can be done, but it's not really something that we want to get into right now, especially with this being a 2020 camper. So I thought a good option would be to do this cheap peel and stick tile. I thought maybe I can like not screw this up <laughs> um, because I am not... I have the ideas, but I don't have the skills to pull it off. That's usually where Dalton comes into play. But I really wanted something that I could do on my own. So I got this and I'm gonna apply it here um, all the way across. I will run out today. I will need some more to get up in this top little section, but I can at least see kind of like how much I need. And then over here, we are planning on doing something really fun. So. I went today and I got this paint chip. It's called Black Magic. And guys, I'm going to do black shiplap. And so I really want to do black shiplap right here. And then I have 
a um, really neat like modern looking picture of a horse that I'm going to hang here and then I might hang some baskets right here I don't know yet but I want like a really modern feel but also want to stick with how rustic everything is because you got like this sliding barn door kind of style thing here um and then you know I don't know I just kind of want to stick with like a rustic kind of feel but we'll see I really like this color black magic um and then another couple of ones that were contenders like if you're looking for something in that family um rock bottom would be so good but I really want a true black caviar looked really good too and then um these are some other ones these are by Sherman Williams I think yes okay but anyway um just a little update and hopefully I can show you some progress later okay this is what we have so far so I can't turn on the light and it make a difference but this is it it was very easy to do you just peel it and stick it and it comes off like it comes off really easy so I don't know um good project especially if you're renting a house and you just kind of want to add like a little something or whatever um pretty good obviously not done I need another and I'm just gonna take it to right there I'm not gonna try to do obviously all the way down I'm just gonna take it all the way across and then I'm gonna get um a couple more sheets to do up here on the top um I didn't realize that it was that big I don't measure before I go to Lowe's so <laughs> but yep that's my little I mean it probably took 10 minutes tops so pretty good all right okay guys I am done finished up today it took me it took me about I mean in total probably 30 minutes total to do this entire thing um super cheap super easy um and I have some left over for this spot right here I needed I think seven sheets but I have this excess and so that'll be good I can just keep it in case any of it starts to peel and I need to like piece it back in there but so easy so cheap definitely what I wanted for in this area I didn't want to like do this big expensive remodel so I like it Now that we've cut it, we're gonna go in and nail it on the wall. Let's go. Okay, so we are in the bathroom and here's what we have. So um, I've got this piece, this section cut out, this section cut out, and then up to this cut out. Um, <clears throat> so I'll be able to nail all this in. Then once I nail these in, I'm gonna be able to get the, the top piece width which should be the same from here to to here but we'll see so um then i've already measured from here up um but i want to make sure before i start cutting anything else but um 
this is the the backsplash that Kaylee did now let's get to nailing this I've got the the craftsman 18 gauge this thing is pretty nice it's not it's not too bad too heavy um, I mean obviously you're gonna have a little bit more weight because you're not you've got everything built into this gun instead of having an airline and an air compressor and you know this is lighter than a compressor so you don't have to have all of the airline and the tangle and everything else so um, we're gonna load some nails in it the battery's fully charged um, I'll leave a link to this in the description this was 179 um, with the battery and the charger and I think the Ryobi was one I think the Ryobi was like 119 without the battery and then you had to pay another hundred for a battery and a charger I think but if you already have Ryobi tools then you know that's the way to go I have all DeWalt tools but the DeWalt nail gun was 358 I think and I didn't want to pay that so I invested into the Craftsman so we'll see how it goes So there is a problem. The since the toilet is so close, it's gonna be a problem nailing the bottom half. See right right here and my nail kind of curled, but up here it's fine. Um I tried to get it at an angle, but it just shot out the side. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do there, but I'm sure we'll we'll figure something out. Um and right now I'm just tacking it just so I'm just tacking it so that we can see how it goes and everything. But let's do it. Yeah, that's gonna look so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 